Rad Gen H2O here. I wanted to give you a little update on my secondary bubular situation. Now, that is a, a good idea. I still hold that it's a good idea. Only one problem when I installed it, I didn't take into account that what a coolant overflow bottle does is it stores coolant when the radiator is hot and then allows the radiator to suck it back in as it's cooling off. Well, guess what? That's exactly what it's doing with my reservoir. I get up the other morning and I come up here and start my unit up. I check my amps just like, like I always do so I can keep a track of what's going on. And my amps had dropped from 35 amps that it was running out the day before down to 20 amps. And I go, wow, what's going on here? So I take a look at everything. Everything's hooked up. Everything's fine. I look inside my secondary bubbler and my water level has gone down by about a half an inch. And I went, Oh, you know, I know exactly what's happened. It's gone and sucked, as it's cooling off, it's gone and sucked the vinegar back out and has put it back into my reservoir and has neutralized part of my electrolyte. So, in order to fix that, I need to get a check valve and install it somewhere in line over here so that when the reservoir does cool, it doesn't draw the secondary bubbler's fluid back into it and neutralize my electrolyte. So I've gone ahead and ordered a Vitron check valve from US Plastics to do that. It's going to be a few days before it gets here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, drain my secondary reservoir out, put some regular water in it so that it doesn't neutralize my electrolyte, and then I'll just check my uh, amperage every morning when I start off and we'll go with that. Also, if you remember a few days ago, I posed a question about finding a better location for my Venturi's that I have mounted to my cold air intake tube here. And I've got a couple responses. And I've done some thinking about it. I examined it when I had the truck apart last time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to block these off. And I have moved spots here. This is my resonator off my truck and this hole is where the throttle body goes in and right down here you can see it I have mounted a piece of 3 8 ID half inch OD flexi pipe you can buy it at any auto parts store it's like uh, three dollars for a 10 foot long piece of it but it's rigid and it'll withstand uh, 160 degrees temperature which I'm not really drawing anything through it except the gas, so hopefully I'll check it in a couple days and make sure it's not melting or anything. But it's nice and rigid. It's down here at the bottom of my throttle body so that it's going to be feeding right into the base of the throttle body. Now if we look over here at the throttle body, you will see that down there that I have the big butterfly and down below I have what's called a bypass. That bypass is so it can suck in air at idle. Okay, so that when the butterfly is closed, that bypass opens up and allows gas to go into my throttle body and keep the engine running. So I think that my new location where it's feeding down near there but still pointing up towards the throttle body itself is going to be a good place to pump in my HHO and give me a little bit better results. I noticed that at, uh, you, know, you do a lot of tr time with your truck sitting at idle at at the stoplights and you know shoot I idle down the road a lot of times you know this truck you get it in the high gear fifth gear and I'm idling at 45 miles an hour so that way we can feed a little bit more air to this thing at idles okay there's the finished install of my new feeder tube going into my uh, air intake I'm happy about it I drove it around last night with it hooked up like this and my throttle response was completely different than what it was when I had it running into the cold air intake so this is where I'm going to be leaving it at. I like it there a lot. I think it's uh, more beneficial to me to leave it there until we get a better throttle response than what the lag that I was experiencing with the Venturi's going into the cold air intake. Okay, this is just a little short side video to somebody else. Uh, just to show you what you can do around 700 watts with these cells. 13.2 uh, volts at 53 amps running uh, four cells with five neutrals. That's my output coming out. And we'll go ahead and do a time trial here.
17 seconds for one liter.